Hatoa Raba Hadaot Gaba, teachings of the highest knowledge and understanding. Uh, I first would like to express, of course, my continued appreciation for all who participate in the lessons and the questions. Uh, it's a very powerful thing indeed, and it's a beautiful thing indeed to see so many great minds and scholars of our color trying to uplift the minds of our people to help improve the sociological, economical, and whatever condition that our people currently are in. Uh, so I ask you all to continue your passionate attempts and your assertive efforts in reaching this ultimate goal. Now, I present question number three, which was actually going to go into a different direction. However, synchronicity has forced me to present the current question number three uh, that I have at hand. It is in reference to uh, swine flu H1N1 and its profound newfound effects on, strangely enough, African Americans. Now, I did go into this pretty extensively into my lesson 101 population control. So if you have any questions or you want to get a better in-depth sight on my views on these diseases, give a run through population uh, control lesson 101 to get an idea where I'm coming from. Now, I was listening to the radio yesterday and the commercial stated that the Ad Council Department of Health and Human Services states that African-Americans with asthma, cancer, and diabetes are at a higher risk of severe problems if contracting H1N1. And the only, underline that, and the only way to avoid these complications is to get an H1N1 vaccination. Now, I can address this by presenting many questions. Uh, some, as I said, I've already addressed in Lesson 101. However, for this question number three, I ask, since when has a virus been able to discern the nationality of a person? Think about that and I will repeat it again. Since when has a virus <laughs> been able to discern a person's nationality? I giggle at that because it's funny. Uh, if you recall correctly, the H1N1 virus was supposed, quote unquote, to have originated in Mexico. But now, seemingly, it has posed an increased risk in African-Americans. Hmm. Now, if you would also jog your memory, what was the last great pandemic to have a profound effect on our people of color? AIDS, AIDS, which is supposed to be the worst and also supposedly had originated in the very source of the European problem, Afu Raka. Now, some of these research committees, CDC, Ad Council, Department of Health and Human Services and whatnot. Some of them have even gotten slick with their deception and even tricked some of our people into thinking that they need prescription medicines to specifically address African-American diseases. There are even medicines that are specifically formulated for African-Americans for high blood pressure, hypertension. How does hypertension know what color you are? How does it know your nationality? If it's a universal problem, it should be a universal problem in all people. But why do you have hypertension medicine and then you have African-American hypertension medicine? That always resonated, uh, you know, awkwardly in my mind. So, again, I would like to know since when has a virus been able to discern the nationality of a person? Because you very rarely, if ever, have heard of a Vaccination formulated for Chinese people specifically, Russian people specifically, Indian people specifically. These are all nationalities. But every day you can look a search up and you can find formulated medications specifically made for African Americans. And that should put up a flag in your mind and make you open up that one eye in your mind, the all seeing eye to ask that most important question. Why? Now, it never ceases to amaze me when I hear either the increasing intelligence of these viruses or either these viruses have an improved eyesight to specifically address and to attack African-Americans. But to me, it's no secret. But I would like to hear your input and I would like to leave this open for discussion for all viewpoints. So. I look forward to hearing from all who have a view and a say on this. 
शालुआम हो